Okay, before we get going in to other learnings this week, I do want to go through this particular template with you. Keep in mind that as we have learned, all of these templates are built off of HTML. I'm going to flip over to the code portion, and this is what you're looking at here from the body down is the code portion of the HTML. And of course the head is still a part of the HTML, but embedded in the head is the actual style sheet content. Later in the course we'll learn about how to move it out of an individual page and actually have it drive multiple pages. I have flipped back here to design. I want to go ahead and in exploring this particular page I want to also clean up some of the things so that um, we can get going on a better design. At the end of this course you can actually lay this page out any way you want. You do not need to follow my particular layout strategies, but rather if you find a different template or something that you would prefer to use, feel more than free to start playing around with it. But to get us started, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this particular layout. Keeping in mind from what we've already learned, if you click on the boxes, you can also tell down here that this is a div called left banner. All divs start with a pound sign. So if I wanted to find that in the CSS piece over here, I'd come over here, find it. I could click on my pencil and go ahead and edit that box should I want to. For our exercise this week, that's not the box I want to play with, so I'm going to move on. First of all, in terms of the notes I've given you, I've already discussed that I am combining the web design module into the portfolio update module. So I want to go ahead and make an adjustment for that. I'm going to go ahead and copy, I'm sorry, cut that out of there and move it up there. And the other thing that I want to talk about here is that I have two interior divs going here. One is called, if I click into here, I can see down here, one is called module portfolio before, the other one's called module uh, mod port after. And the truth is, while these are really good to have when we are looking at laying out images and or complex things, in this particular piece we don't necessarily need it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, teach you guys how to get rid of divs. So I'm going to hit enter here a couple times just to kind of get ready, ready for it. I'm going to take that content, I'm going to cut the content, put it into my regular box here, and now I still have these two divs left over. Good practice is to get rid of the div in the HTML code, but also go ahead and get rid of the rule over here. There's no need to have an extra rule sitting in your CSS styles that applies to nothing. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that indeed I'm looking at the div mod port before and I'm going to go ahead and delete that but I'm going to come over here and actually trash that rule as well. Now is it the worst thing in the world if you don't trash the rules? No, but in terms of good design you really do want to. The, com the concept here is to make it nice and streamlined in terms of not only code but getting rid of anything extra that would slow down your page. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the other box here and I'm going to get rid of its um, rule as well. And So now I'm pretty happy with that. I'm good with that. And last here I've got a new box where it says mod web design here. Same thing I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to take a look over here and lo and behold I don't have a rule for that one already. Keep in mind you can have divs but not have the rule itself. And in fact, I've deliberately left out the rules for the individual boxes here so that later on you could create them should you want to. So here I'm going to go ahead and bullet these little guys. That's fine. And then the last thing here is I'm going to change this away from multimedia design to advanced design. And those are just going to be a couple of exercises towards the end of our course. In addition to that, this week I know that I also want you to do a typography sample page. So I'm going to go ahead um, and I want you to do a layout uh, sample and I want you to put in an original, original, and I want you to put in a uh, modified. So those are just little text placeholders to get you ready to 
uh, link to two new created, or excuse me, three new created pages. Talk to you soon.